Hello and welcome to this tutorial. We are continuing the series of Spark plus Pi Spark. Today we are going to discuss one of the underrated and most asked interview topic that is what is serialization and deserialization in Spark. As we know majorly we have two types of transformations in Spark. One is narrow and second is wide transformation. So let me remind you what this narrow and byte transformation is. If the data is moving from single input partition to single output partition, in that scenario the transformation will be known as narrow transformation. But in case of byte transformations, there might be shuffling of data. Now what exactly this shuffling is? One input partition data can be splitted and transferred to multiple output partitions. So it means like shuffling can happen like some data of input partition can move to one output partition or two output partition or three output partition depends on the situation. Let's come to our topic back. Let's consider the scenario of byte transformation where data moves from one node to another and shuffling happens. So if I tell you the exact what this white transformation is, so you can see here we have partition 1 and partition 1 data is going to move to different output partitions that is partition 1, partition 3 and partition 5. So it simply means shuffling is going to happen. In shuffling, data can move from any node to another node or any partition to another partition in network. So let's consider we have a machine and inside that machine we can have multiple partitions or single partitions. So in case of shuffling, if we have partition 1 and partition 2 in machine 1 and if we are doing shuffling of data with machine 2, machine 3 and machine 4. So it simply means any partition of machine 1 can be transferred to any partition of machine 2 or can be shuffled with any partition of machine 2. Any of the partition of machine 1 can be shuffled to any of the partition of machine 3. So it seems like things are uneven. So we can say some mixing of data is going to happen. Shuffling of data is going to happen. Here data will travel from one machine to another machine in network. Whatever data we have in the machine, here is nothing but it is an object. So data is nothing but object here. Internally all these objects are known as JBM objects. The data whatever we have inside a partition inside a machine that is nothing but JBM object whenever they have to move to another node so if shuffling is happening then obvious data of machine 1 is going to shuffle with data of machine 2 data of machine 3 or with data of machine 4 so it means that machine 1 partition data is going to travel from machine 1 to machine 2 machine 1 to machine 3 machine 1 to machine 4 so for traveling purpose these objects cannot travel in network they must be serialized to travel in network. So if I am saying I have some data in partition 1 of machine 1 it cannot travel to machine 2, machine 3 and machine 4 if it is not serialized. So what exactly this serialization is? Serialization is a process to convert the JBM object to a stream of bytes so that it can travel from one node to another node. So initially we have JBM object and we are just converting those JBM objects to a stream of bytes so that it can travel from one machine to another machine. Once this travel happens then again serialized data is serialized again after reaching the destinations this data must be deserialized again so it is simply a opposite process like if we are moving or transferring data from machine 1 to machine 2 so simply some the data which is going to transfer from machine 1 will be serialized means the data which is jbm object will get 
will be converted into stream of bytes and it will travel from stream of bytes will be traveling from machine 1 to machine 2 and machine 1 to machine 3 once it reaches to machine 2 again the data which he got from machine 1 that is nothing but stream of bytes that will be again deserialized to JBM object so that machine 2, machine 3 and machine 4 can use it. So simply it is a simple thing serialization is a process whenever we do shuffling of data or data movement from one node to another node the data cannot travel in form of JBM object. Initially it will be serialized from JBM object to stream of bytes. Once it reaches to another node it will be deserialized again to get JBM object. Thank you so much. Bye bye.